Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the Magic Roundabout, we've got a old Dinky Toys Maserati. This is one of the set that I'm um, completing again. I think I've done about three so far. So I've got this one and I've got the Bristol Cooper to do. Um, I think that's the ones out of this series. So yeah, it's a bit broken down this one. And as you watch it go around, uh, I'd just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. And welcome back all the old friends of the channel. Thanks for sticking with me. Okay, I hope you're still enjoying your new year. Still should be 15th, uh, 18th of January, something like that. This is also a um, DMC challenge for January, which was any European vehicle. And I wanted to do this one anyway, so it kills two birds with one stone. Okay. Let's get it off to magic, get it on the bench, and have a good look at it. Here we are then, on the bench. Yep, Dinky Toys Maserati. Yep, number 231, this is. Number 231. It's a bit bent up. Back there. That shop. Tires are all mismatched. Oh, there, these new 20 millimeter tires on these things, but I will double check with my uh, with my book when I go back down. But I'm pretty sure these are 20 millimeter. You can have a grey or black. Driver's a bit windswept. Paint's all coming off. Got rounded rivets on rounded nipples for the post. Yeah. So we'll get the tools out. Get these fired off, get his base off. There's nothing to these. Just get the base off and there's just the axles drop out. The thing to watch out for when you're buying one of these off the internet is you see these axle covers here. Four of them. Make sure when you look at the pictures that they're on. Otherwise, unless, unless you really, 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 really want one and you don't want to shop around, then you're going to have to make one of them up. Okay, if they're broken off. So just be careful when you're watching, when you're buying one of these, have a look. Because I bought one once it was broken off and I didn't realise it. So I learned my lesson. So I'm passing it on to you. Alrighty. Let's get the tools out. I'll get the base off and then uh, what I'm going to do with this one, get the base off it. There's nothing going on here really. Um, grindy axle ends off. There's nothing else inside here but just the base. And what I'll do is I'll get it uh, stripped, and uh, I'll come back to you when it's when the um, when the paint's off it, and we'll see if there's any casting lines and, and straighten the axles out. Okay. Okay, I wasn't going to show this, but I might as well show it. Um, yep, stripped base, wheels, axles, all off. Now I've checked quickly. Checked. Um, this should be red. As you can see the red inside there this should be a red version this is red there's red there look as well okay so somebody's painted this <clears throat> it has it's red and it has a white stripe up there okay so it's red with a white stripe and the wheels uh what i've seen on the um, in the book there's two sorts there's the cast ones and these ones the spun hubs, as they call these, and the cast ones. So, all grey or black tyres. Uh, the hubs are different colours. You could have them chrome. You could have them the same colour as the body. You could have them yellow. So, it's your choice. Now, I'm just looking down here. I've got three wheels on my wagon. One, oh, there it is. I thought I'd lost one. It hasn't. Right, on with the stripping. Here's our little Maserati, all ready for painting. Yeah, <clears throat> give it a wire brush down to clean up one or two little bits of, uh, we've cleaned up better. Twin exhausts on here. This is uh, a 19, I think it was a twin exhaust, twin exhaust ones that I've seen, that is the 1952. I did have, it did have it written down. I think it's 1952. This one, so I look at them. Most of the ones I saw were single exhaust. Then I saw some with a twin exhaust with the same grill, 
So it's about 1952. There is a number where it's attached to it, but I'll, I didn't bring it up with me. I should have done, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, um, debating on the white stripe. I've looked on all the Google images, not seen one, with a white stripe down the front. Dinky's done it. And it looks really odd. So I'm in two minds whether to do it or not. I'll decide, but I'm ready for paint now. I'm going to primer it. A bit of white primer and some red. Okay, so that's the next step. Right, I'm going to, um, this is the, the axle off that bent. You can see it's all bent. Off that bent Maserati. So, got my metal block. I've got the rivet head, the actual head against, use a black, I've been doing some, using the metal polish. And uh, we'll roll that around there. And we can see the high point. What I just tend to do is just give it a soft, these quite soft to tap. Just give it a tap there. And then I roll it along the edge, tapping it as we go. Keeping the, um, the head over the edge because that way you'll um, you won't bend it. Sometimes you can go that side as well, opposite sides. Certainly a bit better now. Certainly better now. There's just a little kink at the end there. That's probably where I've uh, piled it. it. Takes a bit of finishing, you have to get it right. Yeah. It's just a little bit on that where well, that's uh, narrowed down just there. But what we do now is get it in my drill here. And then I need a new drill. This one's about added now. It's playing me up. And hopefully, yeah, that's fairly straight. Look. A little bit at the end there. And then uh, I'll get my sandy paper. And then just clean it off. That's how we do it. There's a way to do it. I mean, you, if you got your own methods, you got your you got your own methods. You know, it's entirely up to you what you do. I'm just showing you how I do it. So I'm doing this laying down. I normally do it with a drill standing up, but you won't be able to see it on film if I did that. Just trying to get a little bit in the edge there. Use that bit. There you go. That's a bit straighter now. So I've got a little bit there, but that's mainly because where I've been, uh, well, I filed it off. It's got a kink in it where I filed it. But yeah, and then you get a little bit of wire wool. 
I did have a bit here a second ago. There's that gun. Oh, he's stuck to my arm. Look, there you go. There's, there's my wire wall in a safe place. And give it a rub over. Shine her up. And she'll do. Yeah, we metal polishing the hubs. Okay. So that's what I'll do with these axles anyway. Here we go then. All the paint is done. There you go. Got the front grill done. Got the numbers on. Got the pilot in place. Driver. Bit of silver on his goggles to highlight his, the lenses. Got the blue scarf. I'm mucking him up a little bit. But yeah, here we go. So that's done. So now we've just got to put it back together. We have. So we'll get the magic carpet out and we'll put it back together. Should be okay now. No real problemo. There we go. That's the magic. Base. Wheels. Now, I was looking on Google Images on these old racers, and I did notice, well, you can't help but notice, that majority of them, all of them, had got wire wheels, look. Yeah. But Dinky, I put these wheels on. So I'm thinking, that when I do another one of these, these are wire wheels, because if you look on the uh, Google images, you'll see the real racers, the tyres are quite narrow on them com uh, compared to the wheel wheels, more like this, similar to an E-type Jag. So I'm thinking next time I do one, I'll put the wire wheels on it, yeah? They're slightly taller tyre, narrower, and I think they, look, they would look quite nice on there. So let me know what you think. Anyway, let's get on with this. Axles in. And uh, toi. Quite simple. Put the base on. Bit of muck on there. Bit of the old super duper. Get a couple of rivyards. And dos. Here we go. Make sure we got flow. Yeah, we got flow, Joe. We've got flow, Joe. We got flow. First one in. And the second. We'll just give it a bit of the old uh, easy start. And we should be done. There you go. Here we have it. She's a racer. Get it on the old magic, shall we? See what she looks like. Yeah, on on this um, under these lighting conditions, it's, it looks like more of a bright red, but it's not. It's a it's a darker red. Okay, we'll give it a bit of a, a showing up in a minute. Give it a bit of a showing up. Yeah, that's nice. So let's get it on the magic then. This is what we started with, a broken down 
Maserati by Dinky. Seen better days. So, have a look. See what we've done with it. See what you think. Have a look at this. Here we are then. All done and dusted. A little Maserati. Dinky Maserati. All done. In the red. Yeah, it uh, it's showing up more of a bright red in there because of the light LED lights are doing that. I'm not very good with the camera, so I don't really know how to darken it down to get the true colour. But trust me, it's a dark, darker red. Okay. Well, there you go. We're all done. I hope you like this one. It's quite a simple one to do. And this one is uh, in incorporated the Diecast and Modelers Community Challenge for um, January, which was any European vehicle. So I thought I need to do another one of these because I've got the I've got the whole set. So I'm just going through them, doing one every now and again. Uh, I haven't put the white stripe down the front uh, because I didn't like it. Basically, uh, it didn't look right. I don't know why Dinky did it. They must have their reasons, but I didn't like it. Okay. Well, hope you like this one. Look forward to your comments. And uh, I'll see you all again next week with the uh, Guy Lorry. So we'll see which one of the liveries came out on top. Okay, no then. Well, whatever you're doing, enjoy yourselves. Be lucky. And I'll see you all next week. Bye for now.